the streets of Harare, almost desolate. Like many countries across the world, Zimbabwe ordered a nationwide lockdown in an attempt to slow the spread of COVID-19. But even before the virus arrived here, major parts of the country lagged one of the essential elements to protect people's health and prevent infectious disease outbreaks. <laughs> We were here in Arare shortly before the COVID-19 pandemic to continue an investigation on a severe sanitation and water crisis. Thousands of residents across Harare have no access to clean water. We are losing a lot of treated water along the system because the pipeline is aged. Around a third of our people are only accessing water and two thirds are not. And that's a dangerous situation. Many residents spend up to 10 hours a day and sometimes queue throughout the night to get water from boreholes that are contaminated and unsafe and also from wells in their backyards. We have had uh, three outbreaks of cholera and uh, certainly if we don't act to improve our infrastructure, we are bound to be susceptible to numerous uh, waterborne diseases. We are urging residents to uh, not to drink from unprotected and safe wells. Women and children of school going age spend sometimes eight, nine hours and all night at the borehole queuing for water. This problem has gone on long enough, but COVID-19 has made an already dire situation even more urgent. Combating the spread of the virus requires people to wash their hands regularly and maintain good physical hygiene. For that, they need to have access to an uninterrupted supply of sufficient clean water. The Zimbabwe authorities should provide alternative sources of safe water, such as safe boreholes and protected wells, and educate residents about simple, low-cost, safe water storage and delivery methods, and ensure that there are enough water points across the country to prevent overcrowding and enable social distancing.